Hmm. Another relatively slow day at work. I've managed to get a TV installed, so at least I got something to distract myself with. Still, I feel like there's something I'm forgetting today. Something really important. Maybe there's a meeting I missed. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? I never have any meetings to attend. I continue to stroll around my office. There's something I had to do, I just know it. But what could it be? My eyes dart around the room, every, eventually falling on a disheveled calendar. Have, I haven't touched it, but it, ha it happens to be on the right month. Let's see, today's the 7th of February, so... Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's the boss's birthday. Of course, how I managed to forget. You forgot. That's it. Ugh. I know she doesn't make a big, big deal of it, but everyone knows when her birthday is. Oh, I didn't even get her anything. I'm gonna look so bad when she finds out. Okay, calm down. Deep breaths. Deep, deep breaths. I can salvage this. There's still time. I'll just find something nice and give it to her, and she won't fire me for being a heartless brute. But why can't I get her on such short notice? I don't even know what she'd want. Maybe I should ask someone. Who the fuck do I ask? Huh. Miko! Yeah. I'll drop hints, make suggestions, nothing up front. That look bad. Now see, my style is if I want something, I ask them straight away. What do you want? I'm getting you that shit! As long as it's reasonable. That's how I tend to approach it. I'm not gonna guess that shit. Tell me what you want. I'm getting you shit and be done with that and be happy, man. Let's see if I can get her on her own for a few minutes. But hey, boss, I need to talk to you about. Oh, crap, I got a text. Alright, never mind. Eh? <sighs> Sleepy. Sleepy. Mika was laying sound asleep on her desk. No pillows, no blankets, just conked out at the most important seat in the country. It's almost surreal, honestly. Every time I've seen her, she's always been so focused and full of energy. I guess even saints have their limits. Still, this makes present fighting a lot harder. I can't ask her anything if she's like this. I'll be back. I'm back, so let's see. I can't ask her anything if she's like this. I could rummage through her desk and try to find some clues, maybe. But that might wake her up. Uh, mm, fuck it, let's not deal with that shit. This is a bad idea. She probably doesn't get a lot of chances just to relax like this. A, sl a slowly tiptoe towards the door, making sure not to wake the president up. It's strange watching her sleep like this. Normally, she's so strong and serious, but when she's relaxing, she's almost cute. I'll come with some other way to get her present. It's not worth bothering her for it. Hmm. Is that you? Ah, crap. So much for that act of kindness. I didn't wake you up, did I? <sighs> no, no. I was just finishing up my nap anyway. The president takes a moment to fix up her hair. How does she even get it to stand like that? I have no idea. Neither do I. Did you want something for me? Uh, kind of, I guess. It's something important. Don't be shy. Just tell me. Well, it's your birthday today, and I forgot to get you anything, so... I want to know if there's anything you like. Ah. Thank you. That means a lot to me. Eh? But I didn't even get you anything. It's a thought that counts, that you'd seek a gift out for me even when I played down my birthday so much. That's worth more than anything you could have given me. I feel my chest swell up with pride. Even though I came here empty handed, I feel like I've given Miko something really precious. Huh. Could you close the door on the way out? I think I'm going to sneak in another nap. Sure. Sweet dreams, boss. And happy birthday. Huh. I made a good choice picking you as my vice president. Miko lowers herself onto the desk again, finding a comfortable spot for her head. I slowly close the door behind me, turning off the light as I let her rest. Blech. Yeah, another day without Mary in the vice president's, uh, vice president's office. The secretaries don't bother me anymore, but that's taken most of the excitement out of my day. I've been passing the entire time with, day, with daytime television on what passes for it nowadays. Come on, detective. It's clear the husband did it. It's always freak. It's always the freaking husband. 
I really don't get why these cop shows are so popular. They're pretty repetitive, and when you've seen the protagonist crack one joke while he puts on the glasses, you've seen them all. Still, it's this or I spend my afternoon watching the shop shopping channel. So I guess snarky Mac 4 eyes will have to do for now. Eh? Just when the action starting to get interesting, the signal shorts out. Typical, but maybe I should have spent more than $30 on this thing. Work, damn it. Uh, percussive maintenance fails to solve the problem. Man, I'm about to give up on the thing when a fop face pops up amongst the static. Um, hello? Is this on? Can anyone hear me? Wow, I'm live! I thought I had a few more seconds to warm up. What is this? There's a little girl muttering at the camera. I try switching to another channel, but the same face is playing on every network. Okay, Kokoro, deep breaths. Um. Greetings, America. Alright, what is this? Alright, that's good. Don't bother adjusting your TV set. I've taken over every channel on every network. Her voice gets a lot louder and more aggressive. It'd be scary if I hadn't seen her whimper like a puppy five seconds ago. I am Kokoro Hata. I'm here to deliver a message to President Toyo Sato Mimi. Or as she's known, my mother. What? Miko has a daughter? Never mind that. So when did she even have a boyfriend? What the hell's going on here? You left me alone for so long, mother. I had to fend for myself in the wilderness while so much as a trust fund. And when I finally find you, you're too busy being the president to answer my emails. How rude can you get? Well, in the boss's defense, she's never really got her head around the whole computer nonsense. Always complaining about the old days when there were messengers and calligraphy and... Wait, wait, that's not relevant right now. Well, I've had enough. I'm here to offer you an ultimatum, mother. Either you surrender the role of president to me, or I share all your secrets with the press. Your first date. Your sappy romance novel. That one time you were out camping, but you really had to pee. Everything. A lump, a lump forms in my throat. Where is this girl getting all her information? She can't really be Miko's mother, can she? You know where to find me, mother. You've got 20 hours before every news in the network. Uh, and every news network in the country gets all the scandal they'll ever want. Wait until you see what uh, what that does to your approval ratings. Okay, that's everything. Now, how exactly do I switch this thing off? Maybe I push the little button here. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. No time to worry about TV reception now. I slip out of my chair and run down the hallway. I need help if I want any chance of resolving this problem. And I know exactly who to go to. Ever since I came here, there's one person I'm respected over everyone else. President Toyosato Mimi. I never cared much for politics, but the way she governed the country was astounding. Her rulings were harsh but fair, always within the needs of the people in mind. It's been an honor to serve as vice president. And maybe one day, when all this is over, I might ask to be something more than that. But now's not the time. These threats of scandals could be enough to sink Miko's presidency. I pushed my way to the Oval Office to talk to the president in person. Boss. I almost bashed the door down on my way in. There's no sign of Miko at her desk or anywhere else in this room. Immediately, I start to think the words until I hear a mur murmuring from behind the seat. No, I'm ruined. I'm ruined. Uh-oh. She's not taking the threat well. Circling around, I see Miko curled up in, in a ball on the floor, hugging her cape like a safety blanket. She rocks back and forth, still muttering to herself. Oh, it's okay, Miko. It's a dream. Just a dream. I'm furious. This isn't the president I know. Where's the power? The presence? The pizzazz. And in a moment, I realize exactly what I have to do. Exactly what Miko needs to come back to her senses. Boss, did you really write a sappy romance novel? So what if I did? Miko jumps back to her feet in an instant, her face blaring red. I'm not sure if it's out of anger or embarrassment. Maybe both? I was young and stupid. Everyone does something they regret at that age, right? You've got no right to judge me. It takes a, I take a tactical step backwards out of Miko's re reach as she flails about. Even her hair seems to be standing on ends in indignation, though that's not very much different from how it usually looks. Don't tell anyone about this, understood? Understand, don't tell. Gradually, the redness fades from Miko's face. It's like she's a computer being rebooted, taking deep breaths as, she's rec as she recovers her composure. She holds her garage close to her chest and bows her head slightly. 
Forgive me. I was thinking by surprise, and I reacted poorly. Don't sweat it. I just knew you needed something to get angry about. You're at your most productive when you're mad, after all. I take offense to that comment, but now isn't the time. I can't run away from this problem, and I don't know how long to. And we don't have long to find the culprit. Yeah, that's another thing I need to ask about. Since when did you have a daughter? That means you had a husband, and that means I have competition. Tell me what sort of man you're into, boss. Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. But, but what? But that girl called you her mother. I suppose from her perspective, that's the only word that fits. But she's not my daughter. It'd be more accurate to say I created her. That girl was a yokai, a spirit, if you will. She's the essence of set of a Noor mask I sculpted. I sculpted a long time ago. That's why she has. She knows so many of my secrets. Wait, no mask? You know, no, no, no. I don't know Noah. How can you not know Noah? I think everyone should know Noah. Just quit with the wordplay. Tell me. It's a form of theater. The actors wear masks to represent various emotions, which means. Miko gasps, and, and I swear I see the tufts of her hair wiggle in realization. Are there any theaters around here? Uh, yeah, I think there's a one a few blocks away. It hasn't been used in years, though. Then that's where she's holed up. Come on, we don't have much time. Wait, what, just the two of us? Shouldn't we bring some Secret Service agents, at least? Kokoro is my problem. I want to deal with her myself. Besides, why would I need the Secret Service? I've got my vice president at my side. Not exactly the best idea, but who am I to say so? Boss. All right, let's go. To the theater. Yeah.